Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to episode 33 of Let's Build Minecraft. Last episode we did a little bit of work in here and got some of these guard barrack room air sleeping quarters. Yeah, sure. Got some of those finished up and I started working here. The other side, the female side or men's side or the other gender side, whatever. Um, I didn't have enough bookcases to finish it. <laughs> Right out bookcases. I threw an armor stand in here and you know a little stuff like this to help mix it up This guy's got a spot right under the stairs. So when somebody's walking on that he'll get to hear the Footsteps, it'll be great and everybody he's gonna complain and everybody's gonna be like Would you just shut up? <laughs> Anyways, how are you guys? I kind of just want to waste time until That goes down actually don't need to let it go down anymore because it's down far enough. I've done some work right here. So last episode I was talking about how the building looked kind of weird and it didn't look big enough or fleshed out enough and that it would be fixed once I added these. And I did and I think it looks much better. I actually really like the way that looks now. So this is obviously just the front face of it. I'm not really sure what this side's going to look like. And I'm not sure how far back it's going to go. We're kind of just going to play that out as we go. I'm building it one section at a time. Today is going to help with planning it all out. When we go over here, this is going to be some sort of a tower. A wizard tower, maybe? I don't know if we have a wizard in our farming town, but there's some sort of a tower here. Um... Yeah, so the, here's just a, this wall is five long, going right there, five, and then a pillar, five, pillar, and I wanted it raised up, so it's going to be connected to this hallway or that room or whatever that's going to be, it's going to be connected to it, so you're going to have to take stairs up, and then here... I built up this because I didn't know how high I wanted it to be. I decided this was a good height and I was like, I had it filled in with wood like that, right? Minus the stairs, obviously. And it was just like, it was boring, it was plain. So I knocked this in, I knocked it in and added these and now we're gonna see how that looks. Might look good, might not, you never know. But let's just get a start on it. I think I'm going to have windows, two windows on each side. So window like that and that, right? And let's just build up this wall and take a step back. Take a step back and look at it. See now, I don't know that I like that because let's get this dirt out of the way. I don't know that I like that because this right right here is like not right to me. But that's going to be an easy fix, so I think I'm going to keep it the way it is and do what I want to do with the tower. Right? And then finish, like, if I still don't like it. Because sometimes things just look weird if you haven't finished them. So let's just flesh it out. And then we're going to follow the same rules that we've been following for for the roof line. So we're, I'm going to use stairs and then a slab above the top part of the window. Do I have any glass on me? I don't. I do not. We'll have to put some glass in here so that we can see these nice shader errors where it shows all black. Do I have the necessary parts? I don't think I do. But let's just put these in so that when we take a step back, I can look at them and decide if I like it at all. You guys saw that, or rather saw, just saw, not saw that. The interior in in hello words interior the interior that i had done right there 
I don't even like I don't even feel like walking through here. I feel like walking through here. I'm not an interior guy usually, or I haven't been. I like the ideas of having a nice interior. But, you know, when you... Sometimes it's just difficult to do interiors. It is. Props to you guys that do them and do them well. But when you actually take time to do them, it's so fun to walk through them, and it just adds so much. So, as we go, I'm definitely going to want to do that more. Maybe we can get a bit of an interior going in this tower here. Just get these panes in here. And see how it looks. I also think... I don't have quite enough, but these are going to go on... I don't want... Hmm, the roof. I don't want, like, a 45 degree, like, typical tower uh, roof, like just a flat. I don't really want a really pointy one like this either. I, I, I don't know. I just don't like doing that with my towers. It's just like everybody thinks that they got to do that with their towers. And no, no, you don't. You can do slabs like this and give it a nice domed effect, kind of, sort of like we did here. So yeah. Um, that pillar's got to go up before we can really tell what we're doing. Into here we go. I love this little room. I added a door. It feels like an actual, like, tool shed or some sort of utility room, and I love it. I'm going to need more smooth stone, which I should have some melt sm smelted. I'm going to need this, first of all. Let's actually get a lot of it. That's a lot, yep. And I love this too. We added these vines and I wasn't sure that I was gonna like the vines. Like, I don't want this. I don't want it to get so overgrown that it's like covering this entranceway. I might have to add something there. If we had a gate there, just like we have here, do we have the gates there? Yeah, if we have gates there, that will prevent that and that's, of that's a gate, yep. Can we make another one? Because I like the way that those vines look. In moderation, I always forget what the right way to make a gate and a fence is now. Is it this way? Yeah, I got it. So let's come over here. And you gotta have something below that to place it, you noob. Right there, right there. And now those, well those, they shouldn't spread to those stairs, right? No, they won't. I need another one for there and there. I'll do that on my own. See, like, here, it just looks like one overgrown corner. I really like that. And here, this is supposed to look like it's kind of tucked away and hidden. With those vines, it looks, like, really tucked away and hidden. Like, nobody uses that. It's overgrown. Come over here, a little bit of interest to it. And there's a doorway there. Who knows what it's going to run into. Oh, by the way, speaking of, like, hidden stuff... I have plans for a dungeon that is going to be cool. I like, uh, I don't know. I, I'm not sure how it's going to go. I think it's going to have to get planned around the rest of it. So the main floor plan of the whole thing is going to be put in. Then I'll do a dungeon, and I think it's going to be a really cool idea. I said dungeon. It would probably be more fitting. When I think dungeon... Um, I think, like, okay, so think, like, Whiterun. Under Dragon's Reach, they have a dungeon, and it's, like, hard to get to, or, like, if you don't know where you're going, it is. And that's not gonna work. <laughs> um, God, trying to get these upper spots can be a pain in the butt. It's hard to get to, kind of, and... Like, it's kind of nasty and, like, sinister feeling. Like, um, 
bad things happen here, right? Or like in Helgen, they have the torture room. I don't, <laughs> I don't think I want that here. It'll be more of a jail, I suppose. But I don't know. I got, I got some plans. Just gonna finish up this roof here. And it shouldn't take too long. All right. Looking at that, that first of all, this is flatter than I thought it would be. If I'm down here, I you can't even. I and mean, you can see it. I think I'm gonna add a stair to at least one layer of it. So that's too flat. Second of all, these, I was right about these. I don't like them. I'm gonna change those. And we might be able to add something up top, like a flag or something for fun. You know what the problem with this is right here? The problem is I look at that and I see the witch hut design. Does that not look like the witch hut design? And let's be honest, the vanilla, like world generated textures, in this game are not all built by <laughs> uh, the best builders in the world. I don't think that Mojang had building and detailing in mind when they made their structures. All right, now that looks like what I was going for. That is really nice round effect. I'm gonna give you guys some advice if any of you wanna do a domed roof like that. Now I did two rows of stairs and then I did slabs kind of in a square and then slabs up on top. That didn't look right. It just looked weird. Um, I can show you. I had it like that. And if you step back, like that right there, that shape, that doesn't look right. That, that's not like gradual It those corners made a huge difference, a lot bigger than I thought. So bring those down, bring those down onto the level of the level below it. And then it still didn't look right. So then I made the middle one stairs, so at the top also had a circular look. Now, I don't know if I'm explaining this very well. It's kind of weird to talk about. We're talking about half block levels. It's really weird. And it's also a pain in the butt to work with. But that looks pretty good, I think, and it looks, it looks, I, I think I like it. I think I like it. If it were a half circle like that, I don't think I'd like it, but I think I like it the way that it is, and I'm going to add some sort of a flag on top of it, and it looks good from down here, and maybe I'm just making stuff up here, but <laughs> I would never do that, but if it were to have a point here, I think it would be more of a, hey, look at me kind of thing, like really trying to grab your attention. It's not. It's real, really soft, right? That shape is soft. I don't think that that's grabbing your attention as much when you're walking through here as much as right here, right? You get what I'm saying? This right here, this is the dramatic shape right here. That's probably the first thing that you're going to notice. And then maybe your eyes are going to wander over to that. And then it's going to see this. And it's going to see this right there. And then you might see this, right? And then all of a sudden, whoa, there's, I'm looking at five different things here. This is a pretty cool building, right? As opposed to if, like, when we first, when you start first, uh, hello words, when you first started playing Minecraft, uh, if you tried making something like this, or if I tried making something like this, it'd probably be like a flat wall, right? <laughs> Here's my castle, flat wall. Put some windows in it, big door. There's my castle. And it doesn't give you anything to look at. It gives you a big flat wall. No, right here, I got five, five, you know, just I pointed out five. The, this thing, the tower, these windows and wall area, this, this. Five things to stare at. And then... You're like, oh, look at all these different places I can go. And you notice over here, oh, cool, archery range. You know, it's just little things. And I think there's a real, just like the effect of the reveal here, right? 
I like it. So now if we add a flag to it, is it gonna be grabbing too much attention then? Mm, only one way to find out, I suppose. Flag design. Do you like it? I just, I thought of what colors would be good and I had gray and I see a lot of yellow from the hay. So I decided gray and yellow. I made a flag that's kind of drooping in the wind. You know, it's not, it's not flying. You don't see flags just straight out very often. This is pretty realistic to me. So let's go down here and see what it's like walking through. Now, obviously I know what to expect. Yeah, it's not the first thing that I notice, especially with the sun right behind it, I guess. You know, I think I actually really like that. This tower's pretty good. All right. I still don't like that little, little dog leg on it, though. Let's see if we can fix that. And maybe do something with cobblestone walls here. Or maybe we just need to bring this back with the rest of it. Let's try doing that first. Like so. I like that a lot more. I don't think that's going to require anything like cobblestone walls coming down. Do we have any? We do. We can check. This just seems like an unnecessary detail to me. And it's the only cobblestone around except for there and in the wall. I mean, we have some cobblestone. You know, we can have cobblestone walls. How does this look? Just notice that we do that to hold in the hay, but how about just right there? I'm gonna knock this out, by the way. I don't like that. It's like, it just shouldn't be there. Just because something adds complexity doesn't necessarily mean that's better. And that needs to be there. Um, This is throwing me... It's not bad. And it does bring in more cobblestone, which makes me feel better about that thing right there. So I think that that's fine. But I don't like that dog leg. Although, see now it's, it's still not what I want it to be. Because now, I'll go, I'll go back over there and... Now it looks kind of hunched, right? Like this wall is, you can only see two blocks of this wall right here. It looks like it's just shoved in there. Like the top part isn't big enough. Like it's too short. It's not gonna be too short because of how domed the roof is. It's not a flat roof or anything, but it doesn't look right. So we can like go like that. Or we can turn those into stairs. Do we have stairs? We do not have stairs. Why would we have stairs? I need to just make a workbench up here. Um, get you there. Is there anywhere I can hide this? I'll forget it if I put it there. I'm just going to put it right there where I cannot forget it. And let's just make... I'd need eight of them if I did this, right? Yeah. So let's see. I like that a lot more. I think I like that. That's pretty good. I'm going to do that on each side. I decided that I'd also rather not have the pillars there. I just cut them down. And... It just, it looks better. They just seem to protrude too much for the slope that this roof is at. Whereas it works with this because it's often places going up more than one block at a time. So it really looks like it's holding it in. Here, it just look, it's, looks like it's like protruding and um, clearly for decoration, not for form, or is for form and not function. So I think here, good, here, 
bad. And there is the new and improved tower. I don't think I'm going to do much more as far as building on the on the guild this episode because everything that I do requires a lot of thought about floor plan. Whenever I do anything, when I made these little hallways here, I had to think about what's going to be on the ends of them. And that's when I came up with that and decided to put that on this side because it's on the guard barracks and whatnot. On this side, I've got to think about over here. And this is a good lesson for those of you who are trying to figure out layouts of bigger buildings. If I were to cut this wall off where the edge of this is, then it would be kind of a flat wall. That gives me the opportunity to bring this out and have it overhang across the wall, existing wall, which would be like right here, right? That adds depth. That gives me something to do with that side of the wall. And that all led to me choosing to have the three windows on each side before I only had two. It's, it's those little measurements that add up to like how many windows, how far out, and what goes behind here, I don't know. I don't know if this is just going to be a hallway. I don't know if it's going to be a room. My next step is probably maybe putting in the floors where I know they're going to be. So say here, say I use birch. I know that there's going to be a floor right here, not there. There's a lump in the floor, right? So I'd pull this out and then, because I know it's going to be there. No matter what I do in the future, that's going to be there because I want a room here, big grand room kind of. It's not going to be the main entrance, so the main entrance is going to have to be grand in some sort of fashion. But that's the big room with the big wall and the big windows in the front. I know that these ones are going to have floors higher up. They're going to be up on this level. So whatever I do, I'm, I'm going to need to bring stairs from this floor to this floor. Stairs from this floor down here to this floor. So right now I kind of have three floors. Four, if you think about inside that tower. So I have opportunities, I have options here. I can, I can make this a hallway, just like this over here. Have another wall just like that right here and have it so that this hallway has no other purpose than leading to that tower. And then behind it, you know, uh, I'd, ha I'd really have to think about what would go behind that or this can become a big room and then it just happens to have a stairway to the tower. Same thing over here. I don't think that I want, this one might end up in a, as a hallway. This one will probably extend further back because I gotta think about, you know, I don't want this thing to be like this big. I want this thing to come out like to here or something, maybe even further. So if I just do hallways, I've got to think about how I'm going to fill that space behind it. If I put windows there, then that means I'm going to have to have everything behind it be lower. Because if there's windows, you obviously need to be able to see, not just look into something else. Or, you know, there could, if I were working on something else, I don't think this is how we'll do it. But if we had a wall on this, like right here, so this was like a five wide hallway. Then we had like an open courtyard in the middle of the building. And we could do the exact same thing with hallways duplicate to those over here. See, it just kind of opens up a can of worms for everyone to just think about. Sorry, I cracked my knuckles and I realized that you can probably hear that. Just kind of opens up stuff. I don't think that that's what we're going to be doing because we want to pull it out. So that tells me, no, these are probably not going to be halls. This one might be a hall. This one probably going to be a full functional room. But that's something I'll have to think about. In the meantime, I think I want to flesh out 
this one in particular, I took what we had and kind of just made it work. So we were just talking about using the floors that you've got and everything to kind of help you with the layout, right? Or kind of relates to what we were talking about. So we had this hallway here, which I finished. I added this wall here. So we're looking at from the back side here. Looks like that. This one will be a bigger room, not just a hallway. And then uh, over here, who knows what's going to be over here. But that's, uh, you know, that's the fun of it. We'll, we'll figure that out. And then here, you know, I came up to the tower and I was like, well, something's got to happen to get us up there. So here's stairway up to here. Um, I don't know what I'll put in here. Maybe I'll work out some sort of wizard tower enchantment thing in here. Maybe we could do something crazy and put leaves and vines in here. Make it look like it's some kind of herbalist room or making potions and whatnot. Um, let's get rid of that. I've fallen. I've been trying to like look at this and keep falling off the back of this over and over and over. It's like you would think you would learn. Nope, I will not learn. <laughs> and then I kind of saw my original plan was to have a second sort of wizard floor right here. That would put us that would put that floor right here. A block down from what this is. And that won't give us enough room for this floor. So on that no, that was sort of not great planning. We could have had three floors stacked right on top of each other here. So I just took this advantage, or took advantage of this, took a chance to just make this a straight shot down to here. So actually, this would be four floors on top of each other because there's floors here. I thought that we were on ground floor here. So, you know, now we've kind of got right here to work with what we do here will help us figure out what we do with here so we have lots of opportunities let's take one of these beds right here it's very convenient yeah nice and convenient look i got baked bread after all this time i haven't made bread um okay pretty sure i have so I'm thinking over here we can do something like, uh, we got a door here, so we could have a stairs down to this doorway. I'm thinking I don't want it that way though. I'm thinking I might want to bring this out more and then have a stair that goes down to the main level. Right here, I'm thinking maybe we can fit like a little closet behind the, the door or the stairwell. Either way, that's some interior stuff that we'll have to work on. I'm liking this, though. I think the next step for me off camera is to fill in the floors where I know that they're going to need to be. And then maybe, I think, pull out this wall, build it on this side, because we know it's going to have to be there. And I think this wall may look very similar to this wall, just wrapped around the other direction. Not entirely sure. I think this thing might, because of how this is, this might end up sort of a C shape. So it kind of wraps around like this, and then back that way. And then we have a similar hallway over here, but no space between over there just a big room so i think that would make a pretty good build a pretty cool building layout and if you think about the way that we have this whole thing that would actually make the entire thing s-shaped let's actually get into creative mode if i can move my mic out of the way of my keyboard oh could it will work in caps oh hold on so yeah, if you think about it the way that I'm thinking about it, it kind of goes like this, right? 
and then it would kind of go like this again. It would be an S shape. There's not going to be another courtyard here. It would more be like just a first floor, whereas this shape would follow a second and third floor. But I really like this. You know, looking at this, this building really dwarfs the rest of the town. I have my render distance really low because I got up here and also my frame rates just kind of dropped. and It was kind of weird, so I turned down my render distance really low. But this thing really dwarfs the rest of this town. It makes me realize how small all these all these houses are. This town's going to need an expansion over here. And it's going to be really good. I really like this area. I think that when this is done right here, this may end up being my favorite build I've ever done. Let me get back into survival. So anyway, we talked about what I got to do next, figure out some building layout stuff and also some interior stuff because I love, I love having an interior. I don't, doing an interior, eh, having an interior, interior, yay, <laughs> two different things. Uh, but one is required for the other. So, oh, don't forget about our little house over there. Um, so yeah, that is today's episode. Guys, I hope you're enjoying this build. Um, I am really happy with the way it's turning out. And I hope you guys are too. Let me know what you think. Great shot. Good shot. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching, everybody. If you liked it, then leave a like and subscribe. Bye.